and then we'll be painting right outside right there, what? dude. But we do got some bad news on this wing base right here. So, Woo! guys, 15 X entries are officially live. Your chances of winning this twin turbo Lamborghini Huracan are absolutely insane. So be sure to visit GoonSquad.com, check out all the official rules, and you might just be the lucky winner to take this plus $20,000 cash. So before today's video gets started, guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Factor. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals straight to your doorstep. With Factor, you can choose from 34 plus chef prepared, dietitian approved weekly options featuring premium ingredients. You can also replenish your snack supply with assortment of 45 plus add-ons, including breakfast items like your delicious apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon and cheddar egg bites, and potato bacon and egg breakfast skillet. Not only is factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are faster ready than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. Prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians, each meal has all the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long while meeting your goals. And guys, this June you can get factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. All you have to do is choose your meals and enjoy fresh, Flavor packed meals delivered straight to your door, ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Mm. That's the best smoothie I've ever had right there. The mango right there is fire, but this chicken right here, the jalapeno lime cheddar chicken, this is definitely my favorite meal. Mmm. And the strawberry is fire too. So guys, definitely be sure to head over to factor75.com or click the link down below and get 50% off of your first order using code GOONSQUAD50. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the Goon Squad Garage and today we're gonna continue working on our Lamborghini Aventador here. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we spent a couple hours just lining up this aftermarket kit and also the original parts as well. And we got the rear end and the front end just spot on. If you just look, kind of just give them a little glance from up top there, you can see how everything is just flawless, man. I can't wait to have this sucker all one color. It's gonna look way better, but we still got a lot of work before we get to that. So we got the rear end lined up, we got the front end lined up. Everything is just looking so good. But of course, we're gonna take it an extra step but we're gonna throw some extra primer on all the aftermarket stuff just to get it nice and OEM finish. I know right now it's nice and flat and smooth, but that's what we wanna do is get it that showroom quality. We want this build to be 100% perfect. That way you can't even tell that there's an aftermarket kit on here. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. If we have to take extra steps adding here and there like stuff, which for the most part, it's all smooth, but just that extra thing of primer, I think will just smooth it all out. 100%. So that's gonna be one of the first things that we're gonna focus on. And then after that, I think we're gonna just go ahead and 1000% align everything. We might have to like just tighten up. Well, actually everything's lined up. Honestly, we just need to tighten everything up. Yeah. So I think we're done aligning too. I think so too. You. Once we paint it, we'll do the thousand percent aligning. Yes, 100%, <laughs> but so far everything is just coming together so nicely. And also you guys seen in the previous video where we took this oil cooler to two different shops to try to get it repaired. The first shop, they absolutely knocked it out right there. The second shop, you know, it was a little bit more tricky for them and they had to try to like try to weld or whatever, solder a small piece of aluminum. They couldn't do it. So they threw some JB weld at it and I think there's still a tiny little hole. So this might be just a temporary oil cooler for us. We already ordered another one. Or should we try to save this one right here? Dude? I mean, we can try to save it. Pop said he got some tools. He even brought something in that tube, some kind of glue. Some sort of epoxy that you use to anchor like concrete, um, bolts into concrete hey. or something like that. So well, we'll and we're gonna shot. try to straighten it out as well. Yeah, so might as well have a temporary one. That way we can move this thing around if we have to, but already ordered another one. But right now, I guess we're not gonna go ahead and waste any more time. We're gonna keep things moving, try to get this sucker ready for the paint and hopefully get it painted here soon.
right guys, so no luck on this cooler right here after everything in Pops even bringing out his concrete like glue whatnot, it's still leaking. And on top of that, we noticed like some sandy stuff coming off of this because you know, it's made from co for concrete. So <laughs> a little bit of sandy stuff comes off, which is not good because it could get in the oil and into that V12, which we do not want. No, sir. But you know what? We got it straightened out, which is pretty good right there, Looks but we're good. definitely not gonna throw it on the car and risk that. We ordered that already. Yeah, we you know? ordered that. It may take a week, it may take a month. It doesn't matter because if anything, we'll just get a custom made one, throw it on there. But for right now, we're gonna leave it loop. It's not like we're hitting highway speeds. It's good to drive around for yes, right sir. now. Yes, sir, we're just <laughs> bypassing it for now. But anyways, as for these side skirts, dude, they are looking better than ever, oh, man. Oh yeah, we are finally starting to paint prep, dude. So yes, we sir. sanded both of these down. These are the first parts and they actually sanded out really easy, but they're gonna look even better once we throw a thicker layer of primer on here and just get it looking just slick. Dude. Yes, sir. It's gonna be nice to just form everything out to original standards. And another thing that I thought about is maybe even sanding this carbon fiber and throwing clear coat over the top of yeah, it as well. That'll probably be the best decision because it'll be an easy or a nicer transition line from paint to like carbon. It'll be all smooth and we're gonna probably need to do a better oh, yeah. tape line because from factory right here, it just looks all off. We'll just spend an extra couple hours taping, Dude, that's for sure. <laughs> taping these lines right here is gonna take a long time, but you know what? We want it to be perfect. That way you can't even tell that this is an aftermarket The extra kit. time, the extra taping, it's gonna be worth at the end for yes, sure. Yes, sir. But the next thing that we're going to move on to is probably going to be the front bumper. Just work on the easier stuff and then move on to taking apart our rear end. Oh dude. my goodness. We spent so much time to piece that thing together and look beautiful, but it's all for a good purpose. We're going to get this thing painted and then we'll just put it together one more time after yes, that. Yes, sir. Alrighty guys, so check this out. We moved on to the next aftermarket parts, which was this front bumper and also this wing base. And as for the front bumper, we got that sucker completely sanded down. And if you look at it from over here, you can see where there's like some dark spots and some light spots. And that right there is high and low spots right there, which is not really good, but it's good that we're taking care of it. So that right there would probably be visible once we threw down some paint and some clear coat. But now that we sanded it down and we're gonna throw a couple layers of that primer, once we paint it, you're not gonna see anything. It's gonna be nice and smooth. So I think we're doing a pretty dang amazing job on this so oh, far. Oh yeah, dude. I'm glad we're taking this extra step right there because it got rid of all the high and low spots so the nice yeah. thick high build primer should cover all that once we sand it, it should turn out perfect afterwards. exactly because this gray primer is really hard to see that it's wavy but if you really focus on it and like if you sand it like this all that stuff starts showing up so i'm really happy that we're taking care of this right now and once we're done with it dude it's gonna look just so smooth so flat and also you can see here where we did a little bit of fiberglass repair. We had to whip out some resin and some fiberglass like cat hair or whatever you call it. And we covered up all the sensor holes because this SV doesn't have sensors in the front. So we should have let the manufacturer know, but we totally forgot about that. So 
we're gonna take care of that. Should be super easy to do. And this is a nice, strong, professional way to do it right there, dude. Yeah, that's Looks that's good. gonna be quick. That's almost dry right there. And then all we gotta do is just go over top of it, sand it down yep. and, and be ready for priming everything in with Exactly, it. that's basically what we're doing. Try to prepare all these aftermarket parts to be primed in all at one time. But we do got some bad news on this wing base right here. So everything was looking really good. The wing base is just looking like it has a couple little cracks in areas where it's kind of bound to happen and that is right here if you look in some areas where is it at you might just have to squeeze it if you squeeze it like right here look at this you squeeze it it's like wanting to open up which that's not good at all but you know what we already got some ideas of how we're going to repair that the way when it actually like heats up maybe in the sun or something it doesn't open up anymore and once we paint it that crack right there is definitely going to be visible if we don't take care of that so. yeah definitely so we're probably going to end up doing some fiberglass along that whole entire edge yeah. right there it's going to be a good bit of work but we should knock it out fairly quickly yeah so that's the only thing honestly that's uh kind of gave us a little bit of a red flag was this wing base right here but everything else is nice so honestly I'm not too worried about us actually repairing this. I think it'd be a pretty simple process. We're probably going to sand it down really nice and then we're going to apply like a nice thin strip along the whole entire rear end. And maybe we'll even somehow be able to throw some resin on the inside along that whole entire edge just to hold it together. We'll figure something out, but that's the only issue that we wanted to kind of show you guys. But other than that, everything is sanding out nice and smooth. This wing base right here sanded out really nice. There's not too many high and low spots, so super happy with that. But as of right now, you know what, guys? We're going to continue working and bring in some more aftermarket stuff. guys so check this out we are just moving right along with more parts first off the rear bumper which was probably the easiest to sand i mean this sucker sanded out super nice not that much high spots as you can tell just a few and that thing is pretty much done honestly you can paint it but you know what we're just going to do primer on everything that way we're safe than sorry but other than that the only thing that's getting painted on this bumper is just this piece right here the rest of it up is going to be black just like the svj but it's looking super good but the only piece that's giving us kind Kind of a hard time we've done spent a couple hours on it is this piece right here because there was that crack right on this seam right here all throughout there was a few of them we already fixed some of them but as you can tell we had to add a few uh touch-ups here and there with some fiberglass and some resin which that's just the strongest carbon fiber you know what i mean oh, like yeah. that's gonna fix it perfectly we added a little bit more there there's a little bit more there i don't know why just this piece is just the only piece that had a little bit of cracks you yeah know? i think the way that they built this thing is like two carbon fiber pieces came together and then they kind of just fused it right there which is always best to go all the way around but hey look 
This kit right here costed us $30,000 instead of $100,000 for an OEM one. So even us spending yeah. this much time is still worth it, to be honest. Yeah, you definitely know? worth it 100%. I mean, if it's just this piece right here, that's awesome because we didn't have to fool with like any of the bumper, like anything crazy. So if we fix this, I bet the engine cover is going to be the only last thing left, and that should be just a little it's bit of easy. wet sanding. That's yeah. it. We got the fender as well, which we're going to paint that nice white. So that stuff is going to get sanded super easy. And also, we got pops over here. Pops got some news to tell you guys. You've been battling with cats or something? No, it's a, <laughs> too fast to turn it in my head, you know. Pops banged his head. And had it, uh, you know, and shelf in the bathrooms. But what do we got, Pops, right there? This one is new product. It's a nice. Uh, I bet Pops, this is Pops' favorite product wow, right here. Yeah, he loves stuff like yeah, this. It's nice, yeah. It's, this right here is the Goon that? Squad multi tool right here. You got pliers, yes. oh. you got all sorts yes. of cool stuff. Well, Look at that. Extra can, tools. Yes, sir. You got this tools. right here can possibly get you that Lamborghini. You know what you can do? Just remove the rear bumper with this tool. <laughs> Dude, imagine you win the Lamborghini with purchasing this right here, and then you use this to remove your rear bumper. Yeah, <laughs> expose those expose those turbos right there. That'd be insane, but that's it's a very possible. big possibility right wow, there. Wow, guys. So these are going to be on goonsquad.com. Don't miss out, guys. Copy something like this that you could actually use. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Use this on everything. I might grab one of these and put it in my my tackle box honestly it's a very Smart, good tackle you. box stuff right here <laughs> go to fishing you know, nice uh, tools pop stuff pop, pop a hook already fixed <laughs> like new one So we hate to put you guys through so much body work, but you know what guys, this is what it takes in order to get this right here looking like it's never been wrecked before. So we did kind of run into a few more little issues here and there with this trunk lid. We sanded it all down. Then we noticed kind of like a high spot in that carbon fiber. So we just like sanded it down with the palm sander and we got it nice and flat. But now there's like a little bowl right there. It's kind of like dips down. So we'll do a little bit more body filler right there. And that's going to be all for that. And as for the other panels, the front bumper, we took care of all these sensor holes. We put in that glazing putty and all we got to do, sand it smooth, throw some more primer, throw some paint at it. And that's going to be pretty much it right there, yes, dude. Yes, sir. We got all that knocked out. Same with this. We put that glazing putty on those edges. Yep. It's just ready to get sanded one dude, last time. This looks really good. I thought, honestly, we weren't going to be able to save that. But after throwing that hair at it, whatever you call it, and also that epoxy and then some glazing putty man it's never going to split again it's going to be perfect it's just amazing and flawless but you know what guys we are almost done the last bit of body work that we have left is going to be that roof which that's a pretty large section but it's just in one general area so we should be able to knock it clean out dude yeah no problem right there we're just waiting on a carbon repair kit that we're going to add a little bit yep. of carbon to it and that should be it man. that should be it and then we'll be painting right outside right there what? dude our paint booth is going to arrive i think june 5th so next week, 
we, we, have we a gotta paint. start prepping. I know, yeah, we gotta definitely pour a pad. I think we're gonna do like a little carport right there. That way the paint booth is covered and just have like power and everything just over there. It's gonna be insane, guys. Because if you don't remember when we started painting, it was at our parents' house. In a tent, man. In a tent with tarp wrapped around it. So from this to that, that's a huge jump. It's just gonna save us so much time and we could do way more epic stuff. We could do like hey, custom stuff. You custom pinstripes. Exactly. Stripes. So we can do insane <laughs> stuff, guys. But that's just gonna be pretty much it for today's video on the Aventador, guys. Right now, what we're gonna do is since we've just been working so hard on that, on those body panels, we're gonna go ahead and fire up the twin turbo Lamborghini, clear our minds. First stop, gas station. And we put a full tank in it, and it is $80 for a full tank down in the south over here. Oh, yeah, and it's the best gas, and it's 20 gallons that can fit in this car That's right That's crazy. Here. I wonder what prices are up, like, in California, stuff like that, Probably dude. Probably outrageous, Probably, man. but right there, that's the gas prices. I think that's for unleaded, the regular right. gas. But it's not the price. It's the smiles per gallon this, you get. That's it. right. <laughs> Plus the turbos per spurbos. Whatever. Spools per... For dro drools over the car. <laughs> <laughs> back guys and i gotta say it feels so much better after doing a little rip ski in the twin turbo lamborghini huracan but that's gonna be a wrap for today's video guys and we are doing 15x entries right now that's the highest multiplier we have ever done with any giveaway so don't miss out guys you might be the lucky one to take this right here plus twenty thousand dollars cash so be sure to check out all the official rules at goonsquad.com get automatically entered but with all that being said we'll catch you guys next time peace